Hi, dear friends. Uh, it's a pleasure again to talk to you now from the 23 to the 29 of September. This is the Maya new date. We are now at the time where we are still in the process of the equinox. But I want to talk about the messages who are coming to this time, and this is very connecting with our healing. In the old times, you know, the symbol of the bat was used as the Lord who has the power over the mysteries of life and death. And this is very interesting that still now, when we have visited places like uh, Palenque, for example, we find a temple dedicated to these mysteries. And even sometimes you feel there that still the spirit of the Lord, the Lord Kamasot, or the Lord Bad, is still there. The Mayans call the Bad with the name of Sots. Sots is uh, the sound who is uh, produced by, by the, the mouth of the Bad. In the moment when we are in, in, the, in the zero time, some people call like when we don't have still the dark, but still we are out of the sun. So it's a time who they call the zero time. In that time, the Mayans re represented the arrival of the bat, the moment when the bat abandons the caves and go for to food for the food they need. The bat is. Uh, an energy who is connected strongly with the mysteries of the life and death. In this time, in this uh, period of times, it's very important to return ourselves to our healing. What is the suggestion in this time is to begin to heal yourself in your physical body to connect again with this one of your organs. For example, how many times we pass years and years and we never uh, take consciousness how important is the function of the liver, as an example. How important is the function of the intestines? How important is the function of the heart? How important is the function of the eyes? How important are the functions of the legs? How important are the functions of our secretions in our body? So all the organs deserve that we in this time say thank you. Say thank you to them. Thank you to all your whole being in a physical way who represented that you are here, you are healthy, you are here. And then we pass to the another level of the emotional you know, areas that we have and say thank you for my balance, thank you for my harmony, thank you for to have a house where I, I can live it. Thank you for the food, thank you for the abundance, you know, that I have, father, mother of the creation. And then your mind, you know, how important it is to have a healthy mind to think, to go to work, to talk with your family, to have a job, to develop your own projects, your ideas, to talk with the people, to write a book, to write a poem, to make a painting. All these areas, sometimes we have forgot because we don't think that they are graces or gifts. But let me tell you that in the Mayan times, the, the Lord Path is the one who rules the mysteries of life and death. And the ones who wants to access to that level needs to really recognize in themselves how important is release the ego. The ego who feels that we are, have granted the life. But when somebody close to you have died, you receive a shock, you receive a profound impact in your soul, in your whole being, saying, we have not granted anything because every day, you know, needs to be lived with gratitude. And I think that the path represents that gratitude, represents the Lord who is bringing us to the gratitude to live in that balance between our mind, our emotions, our organs the whole being who is there. So the great initiators in that time represented that inside that darkness, that chaos, who is represented our own DNA, our own seed, is coming the light, is coming that energy of harmony, abundance, you know, fertility, life, that is connecting with the mystery of the life, and of course, the mystery of death. If somebody, if somebody doesn't know how to live, 
that person probably doesn't know how to die. Because at the end of this process, we have another great possibility to go to another solar system guided by God's hand, by the Spirit of God. So I want you to emphasize that this time, you know, again, open your heart to be grateful to all the things you have, to uh, receive the healing, the medicine that is coming in these days during the process of equinox to your whole being. That's why we are going to do this meditation to connect with that amazing graces, amazing gifts that we have received and receive every day in our life and especially during these days. Let's do our meditation. I invite you to close your eyes, to breathe in and to breathe out. To listen the drum as the heart of the earth and the voice of our Father, the connection with the Spirit of the Holy Spirit of God, and to really the symbol of the bath is just a symbol, representing from the darkness, from that void or space. The light is coming. Probably just to clarify the idea is to say what this great scientist Hawking said, the black holes are the matrix of the creation. So if the color of the bath is dark, the matrix of the universe, your own matrix is within you. Connecting with your own DNA. So we're going to focus asking to our father and mother to heal our whole being, our organs, emotions, mind, consciousness, even our own spirit connected with that energy of the father and the mother and the Holy Spirit. So we're going to do a mantra to connect with that energy that is coming from the heart of the sky in the heart of the earth, connecting with the mantra Jashki. 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 receive the healing in this time of the epidemics and that symbol of the darkness is within us too because we were born inside of the nine months inside of the womb of our mother in darkness and from there all human beings will be 
creation is made within the darkness, but not to take the darkness as a good thing to do in terms of the negativity. It's the symbol where inside of that peace, inside of your own meditation, inside of your quiet, inside of your silence, you can return to your peace. You can return to your harmony. You can return to your health. You can cleanse and purify yourself, body, soul, and spirit, emotions, will, consciousness. So, Father of the heaven, Mother Earth, please guide us, Holy Spirit, guide us. Come, come, come to us and heal us. We imagine that we are now surrendered in every cell, every atom, every molecule, every organ, our all whole beings connected in different centers with the energy of the gold energy connected in this time with the color of the fall, like the maple tree, that with the gold color. For that we do the energy is gold connected with the energy of the sun. We're going to do the mantra connecting with that energy. And this the mantra is Kim An Kim An Kim. of the ancient ones represents the entrance to the light, to the great initiation with the light, with the love, with the abundance, with the harmony, with the kindness, with the peace. So Father and Mother, thank you, thank you, thank you for to allow us to be here to receive the cleansing and purification in this time in our whole being, physically and energetically, in our seven levels. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God, to, to protect me, to be with me on the time guided. I release my selfish, because I cannot control anything in my life. And I am coming humble in humility until the great reader is our Father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Send love and light, abundance, healing, peace, kindness to our planet as a living being. To all humankind, to all human beings, 
to all animals and trees, Mother Nature, herbs, plants, to all the mineral worlds, to the waters, to the air, to the fire, to the ether, to the earth, to the mineral, to the heart of the earth. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for this time and for this meditation and for this moment. Blessings to all, to all, to all. In la tech, a la Take a moment for you that you can say thank you to your personal teachers. And then slowly come breath in, breath out, and open your mouth. I think that the word, the key word for this is purification, healing, and to accept with humility that we need help. We need help from our teachers. We need help from God, Father, Mother, from the Holy Spirit. And when we surrender that, you rest. You don't charge anymore. With you, the energy of the selfish, your heart will be cleansed, your emotions will be cleansed, your mind will be cleansed, your spirit will recontact and reconnect with the Father, and your feet reconnect with the Mother. So thank you for this time, for this moment. I hope you to have a beautiful equinox, and we still have more dates coming. When we finish, you know, the cycle of the equinox, I will give you the new updates. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.